this nation rejected uh, air power. Like we rejected air power, yes. and and we thought it w it wasn't of military significance. And <laughs> he quotes a general from World War One that said the airplane is an interesting toy, but yeah. it has nothing to do with war fighting. And obviously, by World War Two, as you said, air power was what yeah. mattered. So you will find examples of a of a a, a military complex that will reject the new thing while they cling to the last thing. But then the war comes along, like like drones where, I, I'm from the Air Force. I'm a commissioned officer in the Air Force, right? Uh, I, and um, I remember you know being in the Air Force, learning to fly in the Air Force. If someone said, oh, pilots are all obsolete, you know, <laughs> we're gonna replace everybody with drones. That's, you know, anathema. You know, you don't like that, right? <laughs> you know, you will fight that if, if, the, if the Air Force is run by pilots, right? You drag your heels. But then, you know, and so for a while, the, I think the drone mission was absorbed by the CIA. And uh -huh. I don't know where it is today. I'm not up to speed on, on the, the modern uh, mission responsibilities in the, in the DOD. But, but you can see that when someone else starting, starts shooting missiles out of the sky via a drone to fulfill the mission, and they get 100 missions and they knock them all down, and you're still waiting for the one mission that you fly with humans, you know, like the Top Gun 2 mission, yeah. you know, like the entire movie is about, you know, it's a mission that humans need to fly, but you know, you listen to the movie and you, and if you think about it from a technologist's point of view, the movie's not good because in the first 60 seconds you say, oh yeah, we should have sent a drone, <laughs> right? But if, but if we just send a drone, the mission's a success and the movie only lasts about 60 seconds <laughs> and, and there's, there's no human beings, there's no Jennifer Connelly hooking up with Tom Cruise, you know? And there's no heroic moment and, you know, and there's no tear jerking, you know, situation and you don't need the aircraft carrier and you don't need the you don't need the naval base you don't need the pilots you don't need top gun you don't need the planes you don't need the rescue you don't need the heroics you don't need the cue the good music at the end you don't need the motorcycle and the guy riding into you know uh. into the sunset you know with the beautiful girl Everything doesn't end happily ever after. They just send one inanimate robot drone. It shoots one missile, drops one bomb. End of story. So human organizations, they don't like that story, right? And, and that's the same. That human bankers don't want to deal with the thought that maybe the bank is obsolete. And you go to a conference of financial advisors and there's 27,000 financial advisors. Okay, and an entire industry of 10,000 companies. And you stand up and you go, well, you know, um, it looks like 97% of all your money managers got beat by the index. Mm. And over a long enough period of time, 99%. So if we simply obliterate the entire banking industry and all the financial advisors and all the money markets and all the mutual funds and all the ETFs and, and you just bought Bitcoin DCA, you beat them all mm -hmm. and you do it with 0.01% of the cost. Mm -hmm. You know, no one's all that enthusiastic about that future. It takes a long time for you to deconstruct that. So I think with regard to um, these military systems and these defense systems, it takes a while to, for the uh, military industrial complex to modernize itself. And what you'll probably find is you'll see some leaders in some parts of the world, the ones that have everything to gain, nothing to lose, <clears throat> mm -hmm. right? Who fights the cyber war first? Right. Right. Like who, who's busy in cyberspace? You hear about the North Koreans busy in cyberspace. If I don't have the brute force, right, I use asymmetric warfare. So you'll find the smaller nation states that have the most to gain, the least to lose. They'll use asymmetric warfare. And then over time, there'll be a big war and someone will lose a lot. And then they'll realize that, you know, the machine guns don't work anymore and the barbed wire doesn't work anymore and the open cockpit doesn't work anymore. 
you know, in these conventional bombs, they don't work quite so well. We need laser-guided bombs, right? And there's, there's this acceleration 